What's going on YouTube? My name's Mike, and uh, we have got another unboxing for you today. A little bit different than the usual stuff though. Alright, like I said, this is a little bit different than the usual stuff, the usual unboxings. Um, getting back to the fly fishing here, so uh, a company called True Fly Supply messaged me on Instagram and I uh, was like, hey, we want to send you one of our monthly subscription boxes and uh, see what you think compared to the other subscription boxes you used before, meaning the post fly boxes that I used to make videos on. Um, their goal, True Fly Supplies goal, is to have a better fly fishing box with more flies and better gear. So I don't know, we're gonna see here. This is their monthly subscription box, True Fly Supply. I'll leave a link in the description below and uh, yeah we'll check it out here so just a bit of information on what they have first so true fly supply has a trout box a warm water box and then they have a salt box and then they have a euro nymph box which is pretty cool that's a the first company I've, I've heard of that has a specific Euro and nymphing box. I've never tried that kind of fly fishing, but uh, that is a whole nother world that I won't get into right now. But uh, I decided to go with the warm water box because that's going to be your, no, you know, your bass flies, your uh, bigger streamers, maybe for carp and panfish and all that stuff. So let's get into the box. Now I've gotten some pretty good stuff from Postfly, but uh, the whole better and more flies thing I think is pretty important. The Postfly flies aren't always the best and you don't exactly get the greatest stuff. It's just kind of throwing a bunch of nymphs, call it good. So, And sometimes the gear in there ain't so great. But we're, we're going to open this up and uh, compare it to that. Got it here. And open the box here. First off, it's got a welcome to True Fly Supply on here. Just a little welcome letter. Handcrafted flies, a less than a dollar. Blah blah blah. Hope you enjoy. You know, apparently they've been doing this for a while, been around. I was, they got a huge following on Instagram, so. Okay, here's the card of what the flies we got. Oh wow. That is super cool. Immediately, uh, <clears throat> I'm already impressed. One thing in here, I'm. That's all right. We'll get that out of the way. The not so great thing. Sorry, my voice is all screwed up. Super early in the morning. <laughs> the not so great thing, but it is kind of hilarious, and you do kind of need this sometimes. But again, it's not the greatest thing. Um, it's a shit kit. It's basically just toilet paper and a little compact thing here, and uh, yeah. Actually, it's got a lot. Got yeah, four feet of toilet paper, a wet wipe, hand wipe, hand sanitizer, and a disposal bag. Woo! That's a lot of stuff in this little kit here. That's pretty cool, I guess. And uh, it's not the best thing, but it's not completely useless. I mean, sometimes you gotta go when you're out there. I'm fortunate enough to not have to do that. Next up. Um, I'm gonna leave the flies for last. But 
Next up, this is super cool. We got a sun mask. A true fox fly sun mask. I have never gotten one of these from a uh, false fly box. I think the best thing I've ever gotten from a Pulse fly box is uh, this tacky dry fly box that um, I hardly even use because I hardly even use dry flies. But that's nice if you want something comparable. But uh, man, that is a nice sun mask. <clears throat> Feels good. I like the design simple it's white which is even better so keep that heat down and lightweight I like it probably use that while I'm out fly fishing he gave me a lifesaver he's candy who does that nobody and then uh, you get a leader in here I got a freshwater nylon taper leader by true fly supply they have their own shop so you can check that out and when you get a membership you get 20 percent off their online store all the time they give you a little code in the box here but uh, this is a 5x leader and this is their own brand of leader so it's not like they're just putting whatever they want in there calling it good and then we got a sticker carp sticker man it would be so sweet to catch a carp on the fly that is one of my goals so maybe one day it says cast for a good time is a carp sucking up a fly here and all that dirt is spitting up that's a cool sticker put that on something all right, let's get to the flies here. So I'm gonna read from the card what we got first. We got a deer hair popper, size four, a gurgler, size one out, and then we got a muddler minner minnow, size eight, and then a backstabber, size eight. Mm -hmm. Looks like the backstabber is a carp fly, subsurface carp fly. Well, I could probably use it for a lot more than that. Muddler Mental is a streamer style fly. Gurgler is like a popper style flyer, and it sits on top of the water. And then the deer hair popper is a popper. So first off, here's what the flies come in. It's a little puck here. Uh, puck O flies. True fly supply. Uh, immediately there's about eight million deer hair poppers in here. There's four of them. So four deer hair poppers they're weedless which I've never I've never seen that before I can't wait to use one of these I'll probably use it on the river or a pond but that is the deer hair popper from the warm water box immediately already impressed the fly looks sweet and every single one in here looks just as great as the next one so I don't know guys give you a view of just a whole puck full of deer hair poppers that's cool man I, I will say you probably will never see that many of this type of fly because this type of fly is probably I would consider it expensive to make you'll never see this many in a post fly box next is another this thing is loaded to the brim with flies I mean just a whole handful here so we got what is this one this is the backstabber looks like he's got some dumbbell eyes or bead eyes yeah and some marabou a little subsurface fly here and I think yeah it's not it's supposed to be nice and subtle gentle it's not supposed to spook anything be cool to get a carp on that I'm gonna try that one day you know that'll probably catch trout and bass too but uh and then 
we have got a gurgler. This is like a top of water, like a yeah, like a top water bait. You can kind of skitter across. It's got. I think it's trying to look like a crawfish or something. I don't know, but uh. Yeah, you see it's got little eyeballs there. I don't know how well you guys see that, but that is in the one uh size. It'd be cool to tie some of these myself, but uh, it's also got weed guards. Weed guards are uh, not always the greatest, but that is that, that gurgler. Give that a try. Catch some bass or anything, really. And next up, we've got a muddler minnow. This is the fly that I caught my first brown trout ever on the fly with. Is that muddler minnow? This thing's super cool. Kind of like a subsurface bait fish imitation. But yeah, caught my first ever brown trout on a muddler minnow. No, first ever brown trout. First ever brown trout fly fishing with a muddler minnow. I crappily made one. These are significantly way better. I mean, these are hand tied super quality flies, it looks like. Hooks all feel great. I'm not mad. I'm not mad with it. I like it. I think I like this box a little bit more over post like it seems this one uh, they really care about how many flies you get and what quality of flies you get so I don't know that is uh, that's the warm water supply box super excited to get these out on the water we'll go to do that here soon and uh, yeah if you guys like this video hit the like button hit the subscribe button and uh, don't forget to click that notification bell so you don't miss another video anyway explore for fish I'll see you guys in the next one